All right, so in today's video, we're gonna talk a little bit about like low mileage versus high mileage and really how driving your car is actually maintaining your car. This will be a quick video, but um, the subject came up here recently and I'll talk about that in a second. But I wanna make it very clear, I'm not talking about the low mileage vehicles like that 87 Buick GNX that only has like 57 miles on it. No, that's a different story altogether and I've already done a video on, on that particular subject. I'm talking about like low mileage, like for example, the Viper behind me, this is a 95 Viper I've had for a while. It only has 22,000 original miles on it. Now that's very, very low for a 26 year old vehicle. Um, I've got my C5 Z06 over there. It's a 2003 and it's only got 38,000 miles on it. That's actually very, very low. But I'm talking about maybe a little higher mileage vehicles and, and I'll, I'll tell you why the subject came up. So as you guys probably know, my Mach 1 2003 is for sale right now and um, most of the offers I've been getting is like $12,000. So I've just decided the first $12,000 that comes along is going to buy this car. That's where it's going to go. But I had a guy hit me up recently and he was asking about the car and he said, he goes, man, you know, I, I bought lower mileage Mach 1s for less money. So I'm like, okay, that's fine. That's not a big deal. And that was like his big hangout was the mileage, the mileage. This car has 90,000 miles on it, which for an 18 year old vehicle is not really that bad. That's averaging about 5,000 miles a year, but I get it. You know, these are a little bit more specialty vehicles. They probably weren't daily drivers for a lot of people and been put away. So there are some out there with lower mileage. There are some out there with a lot higher mileage. So my thing is don't get hung up on the mileage. Um, okay, this has got 90,000 miles on it. For me, I would rather own a vehicle that's got a few more miles on it, but that's been properly maintained and taken care of rather than a low mileage vehicle that's just been put away, stuffed in the corner and neglected because you're gonna run into problems with that type of vehicle. Now, I know you're asking, okay, well, how do I know that a vehicle's been properly maintained? Well, obviously there's a whole records and receipts and things like that, which is a good thing. I'm not the best record keeper, so I don't have the best records on all my vehicles, but I do keep up on them. And I've got Eddie, and I have him, obviously, when something's going wrong or something's happening with my vehicles, I have him fix it. Sometimes I keep the receipts, sometimes I don't. Sometimes I remember what we did, sometimes I don't. It happens. But really, the best way to tell if a vehicle's been properly maintained, and that's what I did with this one because it had no records, is you take a look at it and you see the vehicle is extremely clean. I mean, this vehicle, the paint is in exceptional condition. The interior is in exceptional condition. It's very clean underneath the hood. Uh, it's for an 18 year old vehicle, it's an exceptional condition. Um, another way to tell is if things work on the car. Like for example, everything except for the cruise control on this car works. Now cruise control didn't concern me too much because a lot of people just don't use that and I'm sure it's a minor fix, I just haven't fixed it. But you know, little things like the air conditioning blows cold, the heater works, the windows go up and down, uh, all the gauges, light signals, everything like that works. So when you're looking at a vehicle, don't panic just because it has has maybe a little higher mileage than you were expecting, that's really not a big deal. Take a look at the maintenance records if they're available, and if not, take a look at the car itself and how well does it show? How clean is it? Are the tires in good shape? Are the brakes, have they been replaced? Um, things like that. That shows you that the owner before took care of the vehicle and 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 did their, their due diligence and, and, and properly maintaining the vehicle. And you can feel pretty comfortable knowing that you're buying a good vehicle, even if it has a few more miles than you were expecting. So that's just my two cents. Um, as always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. PO Box, Instagram in the description below. Guys, God bless. Take care. Have an absolutely amazing day.